Now, sports with Garrett Brown. Well, it was the start of a new era out at Grand Junction High School with the first varsity athletics event on the new campus grounds. Junction and Central Volleyball got the honor of being the first to compete in the new Junction Gym. And what an athletics venue the new Tiger Den is. The Grand Junction students, they can even take in the game from the second level of the building that you're seeing there. As for the match itself, well, this one lived up to the rival, rivalry label early on. Set one went back and forth early on for the Tigers. That's Ali Andra Herrera with the spike there. But later on in the set, it was the Warriors looking to ruin the Tigers' home warming party and crept back into this one, overtaking the Tigers at one point. But the Tigers, they were able to clutch up down the stretch. Hayden Bunnell here with some great defense to give the Tigers a narrow lead. They finish off the match. Tigers work it around before getting it behind the Warrior defense, defensive line here, and they're unable to bring that ball back, and the Tigers take the first match. Match two, meanwhile, well, that went down a little different. Early on, it seemed like the Tigers picked up the momentum they needed from the previous set. Riley Fisher putting the hammer down there, and the Tigers went up big 12-4 to at one point, but then the team in red, well, they got red hot. A pair of Grace Barraumbe and Lily Davis deny the Tiger attempt there. But once again, the Tigers, they find a way to get it done in the clutch and come away with the win. Sienna Ludlam with the kill shot for Junction, and they'd take set two. You're going to see that here in just a second. When it's all said and done, the Tigers defend their new home turf and come away with the match sweep, winning the third set as well, taking it three to nothing. Junction will be back in their new home in two weeks' time to host Fruita Monument. Let's get some more Western Slope High School athletics, and let's just stick with volleyball for a second. Palisade Bulldogs, they also come away from, from their trip down Highway 50, taking down the Delta Panthers. Grand Valley and Olathe, meanwhile, they're on the wrong sides of sweeps, falling to Aspen and Gunnison. On the soccer pitch, the Montrose Redhawks fly away from the Grand Junction Tigers in the second half of their matchup after Grand Junction took a 3-2 lead. With four second-half goals, Montrose wins to improve to 2-1 on their season. 6-3 is your final there. Redhawks will look to keep it rolling against Fruita Monument in their next matchup. And on the softball field, the Delta Panthers, they just continue mashing the ball all around the yard. After hanging 18 runs on the board yesterday, they turn around and put up 16 against Gunnison. The Panthers' formula for success, it seems pretty straightforward. Just light up that box score. The Panthers are averaging a little over 17 runs in their four victories this season. They're going to look to keep it going when they head down to Montrose. Turning to